Welcome back to Cablevision's Hudson News Edition. I'm Sherry Carabin. It was a long battle, but Hoboken 4th Ward Council member Dawn Zimmer was able to get her seat back. Last week, she was officially sworn in for the second time. Now that the election is over, what will she be focusing on? Zimmer joins me now with the answers. Thank you for being here. Oh, and thank you so much for having me. Now that you've been sworn in, what is your first order of business? Well, my first priority is really to bring the fourth ward back together again. You know, while I recognize that um, I've won this race by reaching out to everyone, I had support among the seniors, support within the housing authority in New Hoboken, the numbers were still polarized, and I am extremely concerned about that, and I'm focusing on reaching out to the people that, that voted for Chris and, and letting them know that, you know, that I want to I wanna represent them. That's very important to me. What are some of the most important issues facing the city right now? Well, the, I mean, the big issue that, that I'm going to be focusing on is, is really keeping the small town feel of, of Hoboken. And, and for me, that means looking at the Southwest um, redevelopment, taking a, a lead on that, and making sure that we prioritize the community as we go forward with that process so that we have you know, balanced development, we have the open space that we need, we have more affordable housing, we address the flooding and, and the traffic. All of those pieces need to come together to make sure that um, the development works for all of us. Now, regarding the flooding, you had talked about some short-term measures. Are you going to be working to see that those happen? Yes, I'm still, you know, sort of back in touch with the group that I was working with, reaching out to the professors from the University of Notre Dame, and I would like to have them come in and present their ideas and, and continue the conversation to see if that's a technology that could work for us. So, you know, and, and I'm going to be continuing to build um, a group that uh, looks at, at various solutions that could help to alleviate the flooding and in the short term within the next several years. So, Now there's been a proposal to install a police surveillance cameras in the city. What's your take on that? I think it's a very good idea. It's a pilot program. I think that we should try it. I, uh, you know, I'm as uh, you know, I have a history. Um, I lost my father-in-law to a hit-and-run accident and so it's a very important issue to me and I feel like we need to try everything to to make sure that our streets are safe um, you know for moms with their children for seniors and for everyone I mean Hoboken is a walking community it's um, you know we all walk and and that's part of what I love about Hoboken and we meet, need to make sure that it's safe for everyone and I feel like these cameras could um, you know help to make the streets safer regarding the budget there's been some talk of possible layoffs what are you going to do to help make sure that doesn't happen or at least uh, minimize the damage? I'm going to be, you know, looking carefully and, and working with my council colleagues to make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, we want to make sure that doesn't happen. So, um, you know, but make sure that the city is as fiscally responsible as possible. So I'm going to be delving into that issue and, and looking very closely at the budget over the, the next several weeks. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Just, you know, I, I really appreciate all the support that I received from, from everyone. And, and again, I'm going to be working my hardest to, to reach out to people in the Housing Authority in particular to make sure that they understand I really want to support them and I really want to work with them. Well, thank right. you very much for joining me here today. And thank you for having me. And don't go away because we'll be right back.